we'll be replacing out this power supply on this Lenovo H530S uh, from the stock 180 watt power supply to a 350 watt power supply. You'll have to remove the access panel from the PC case. Unscrew the power supply from the case. Take the power supply out by disengaging the lever on the side and pulling it forward. We'll have to remove the DVD drive to get access to the power connections on the motherboard underneath it. To get to the DVD drive, we'll need to remove the front. You do this by lifting these three tabs and then rocking it forward. Now you'll need to unscrew the DVD drive. There's only two screws holding it in place. Now it pulls forward. Now unplug the power and the SATA cable from the DVD drive. The SATA cable can be kind of hard to get out, but there's nothing, uh, no pins or, or snaps holding it in place. Just have to be a little firm. Alright, you'll need to remove the power from the hard drive. Just kind of wiggle and pull it out there. The problem that you're going to run into whenever you try changing out these power supplies is that on the right hand side you have the 14 pin connector to the motherboard that comes with the stock power supply and on the left you have a more standard 20 pin connector. You've got 12 volt lines coming in here, some commons, the other ones signify whether or not the power supply is on and that it's in good condition. So that means that we're going to have to do a custom connector based off of that will translate this to this. If you go to the link below in the description, I'll have more information on the pinouts. In case you want to use that new power supply for anything but this Lenovo, uh, I suggest using this. 24 pin to 20 pin adapter and then what we'll do is we'll cut this 20 pin adapter um, down to the 14 pins that we need. Uh, before I start pushing these pins out that I don't need I'm going to mark the ones that that uh, I do need. So we're going to need four common which is going to be We'll also need the green, gray, purple, and blue wires. As well as three 12 volt yellow lines. Whenever I push out some of these red ones and some of the thicker lines, I'm gonna reuse those as the new uh, 12 volt. And you notice that there's two lines coming out, so we'll have to get a third one from some other place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this fairly blunt tip punch. Sometimes these are a little bit tough. I'm using this 4D nail uh, with the tip cut off. Uh, just kind of angling it on the side and then slightly tapping these out. But really, you should probably just go ahead and buy the, the punch that's supposed to take these out. It seems to be like a 50-50 that I'm getting them out. If you look at the 20 pin 
adapter on the top then you'll see that if we cut it right at that point where the the 14 pin ends there it'll fit just fine I cut these first six pins off uh, because I didn't want to shave down between the two then I would start cutting into the wall where these the six set of pins were I'm shaving I'm gonna cut straight down the center of that and then I'll use a, a file to file down to the wall as you can see there's some of the the ridges left there and this is just a flat end or a just a wood file. Now that we have our 14 pin adapter, we just need to start pushing the pins back in. All that's left is to match up the colors with the appropriate holes and then push them in. And we'll flip it around, do the other side. There's not enough 12 volt connections on this. Uh, coming off of the power supply, so I'm going to take one of the the male connections coming from the power supply and split it into two, uh, and then put it into the the new adapter. Install the new power supply into the PC case. Make sure the fan is down. When you seat everything in place, after you get it to snap in, push the wires down just to make sure everything is properly seated with the pins. You're going to do the same thing whenever you hook up the connection from the power supply. The original power connections for the hard drive and the DVD drive came off the motherboard. I'm going to go straight from the power supply to provide power for those. So I'll just connect this. All right, now we're gonna hook the power up to the ATX 12 volt connector here next to the processor. And that's a four pin uh, connection on that. We need to reconnect the power to the hard drive. With this one, there's a little L angle down there. Goes to the right. And we'll continue to hook up the DVD drive back, screw it in place, and put the case back on. It was really convenient that there's this big gap of space here because it ended up housing all the extra wires from the power supply. There's definitely more coming off of this thing than the original. Alright, so uh, the only thing left now is to fire it up. Alright, this thing's running great. Um, I ran a Nova Bench test score uh, in preparation for the graphics card installation, which will be the next video. Yeah, please subscribe below if you found this video helpful.